bring your motherfucking receipt and show us so we could support you. If not, shut the f up. Come out hot. If I can ask you about Jacob. We had an inappropriately close friendship. Okay, I'm gonna press you. The casinos cheat. They cheat how? What's up, guys? <laughs> you're right, you're wrong, you're right. What am I gonna put on a pair of glasses yeah, and a nose no, and walk in? Telling everybody I'm the best. I can't punt. That would look bad. The mental anguish. This is what my plan was from the beginning, <laughs> yeah, is that nobody remembers her name. <laughs> Okay. All right, this is the Nick Fertucci Show. I am Nick Fertucci, and for Valerie Brill, uh, we are here in an impromptu podcast with Tom Dwan. We are wearing the same shirt because only 45 minutes ago, we were at the Hustler Casino at the Hustler Casino meetup game. Tom and I and, and uh, Valerie started talking. Uh, we want to give Tom a platform. There's been a shitload of stuff going on. We want to get to the bottom of it with Tom. Sometimes Twitter, as you know, you know, Tom, just messes everything up. A lot of stuff is in and out of context. So we're not going to go through all the bullshit. You know, how are you? What have you been up to? What have you been playing? Okay, we're we're here to talk about a few issues. And we're going to start out with the issues of um, what's been going on on the Internet with Peter and Haralabob. And so let's start with what started it all, which was your situation with Peter and um, it's Peter Jetten, J E T T E N. And uh, tell us in your words what is going on, and then and then I'll fill in some blanks with some questions as you go. So this is why I needed the water because you might have a, a speech or two, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're, You're gonna be here me. a while. Well, yeah, we to had to world. give the context. <laughs> yeah, we had to give the context. I'm surprised he's still not talking, Tom. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, I know he's about to, right? So I hope you drowned. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I think you and I were texting yesterday, right? I'm going to do a bit of interview type stuff today because, yeah. uh, you know, I, I'm very upset and pissed off with Peter, right? I'm, I'm not the happiest with Bob. We'll, we'll address that also. Um, but Peter's someone I had helped a ton for 10 years, 15 years, whatever, right? Like, um, and I don't, I, I don't think he means well. And, uh, you know, yeah. It, it, Tom, I, I think Tom it's helped ridiculous. him, helped him how? What's the basis of the relationship? Yeah, I'm getting, Jesus, I'm getting there. Um, okay. So, yeah, I mean, cook. he doesn't. All right, I'll let you cook. Yeah, I'm let not going to say Fine. shit. No, no, you could say it a little. I'm just saying, like, give me, you know, it's like upsetting. So give me a second. You got um, it, buddy. People, right. people are saying, like, on Twitter or whatever, oh, I didn't do a good job explaining. I'm like, yeah, I feel like fucking pretty burned from a dude I had helped a ton for 10 or 15 years. Like, okay. Like, I don't, you know, maybe the poker world doesn't like it. If I don't explain great, like it's not my biggest concern right now, you know? Um, so, okay. I, I didn't have this guy's fucking accounting for however many years. And he says, Oh, it, it was there. Right. It was in some place. Like it, to me, it all feels like a bit trappy, right? I've had plenty of people I felt owed me money if they said, please stand on one foot for a minute and please send me this accounting and send me this text and what, like, of course you fucking do it, right? It's not like, oh, that was your responsibility because you had, you know, you had it in this fucking, like a buddy of mine had the accounting is what he's saying. A guy that actually, he was closer to me. And I'm like, yo, like this doesn't, this is just not credible, right? Finally, he sent this like a month ago or something. Um, and I don't, you know, there's a chance he had sent it in an earlier message or something. I don't know, right? I don't have our earlier messages. And so that was one of the things I was saying to him. I was like, yo, like, if what you're saying is true, just it takes fucking two clicks. Send me our chat history, right? And he didn't do that until yesterday. Finally, I gave him, uh, meant, uh, I gave him enough shit and he sent me the, the, the thing. And then it's missing the two key years, including around like when his cash out was, this kind of stuff. And for a while, it's just seemed like uh something seemed wrong to me right it, it felt to me like he had an angle it felt like I, I didn't know exactly what it was but it felt like there was an angle and you know uh i i think i think it took me a minute to like come to that realization right like of of you know he was a friend right and so that like stung a bit when i when i felt like he had an angle um 
so yeah as far as facts he has you know according to his numbers which are, apparently our other buddy was on the thing so probably they're true um like 1.6 of makeup right 1.6 million i mean um now if like makeup obviously at most could be worth because it was 50 50 deal i think so at most it could be worth 50 percent. so that would be like 800 right um but you know it should be worth a quarter a third something like that so meaning at the moment he was starting popping off on twitter he's holding some asset that's worth more than that amount right also i had half his deal he knows i had half his deal there's there's definitely an argument i should be responsible for some or all of, of the other half but like it, it wasn't exactly clean right and him saying you know i know he's out of money and shit right so him saying like please and then he'd sometimes send me grumpy messages and then he said please like i didn't I never planned to say, give me some money for the makeup, right? Like, I know he's out of money, you know, or give or sell it to someone or whatever. I didn't want to put the guy in a bad spot. When he starts trying to bend the truth a bunch, bunch not sending me texts, being like, oh, you should have found the accounting yourself. I'm just like, yeah, like, go fuck yourself. Then, then deal with this more fair, right? And so he had, it was like a month ago or something, he had texted me. So he was going to post some shit, something like that, you know, and, um, and there, there was one, like one deal we have from way long ago, of like, uh, you know, a spot he was involved with that, uh, was, was a bunch of our friends that everyone wasn't supposed to share the info because then it would like lose its value. Right. And so obviously it was like, an upsetting text to read or whatever but but he had he did finally send me the accounting at the same time he said he's gonna post some shit right so i went through checked what half was and was like okay i'll send you that i didn't happen to have crypto on me at the time i just like lost my phone and shit so i sent him that like a few days later and then he goes and says oh because i tweeted tom sent me money it's like no because you finally fucking sent me the accounting and uh uh i'm just trying to think through timing of this right so so uh, uh sometime around then he starts saying he's gonna share a bunch of stuff and like j just clarify right are you saying you're gonna burn like this years old deal from before your deal basically why you had your deal that kind of stuff like are, are you gonna burn that or no right and he's like just won't, won't clarify it and i'm like okay like you can't if you're saying please honor this other half of this deal that wasn't mine right please cover it for you know uh if you're saying please cover that and uh you're not sending accounting and you're going to try to paint it to make me look bad and shit and then you're maybe going to burn another deal like i was like yo like this this isn't appropriate right and uh uh i mean i can go check the text but i'll get grumpy and like not want to keep uh having a chat <laughs> uh but so sometime around then is when he started saying um a bunch of shit that made me think he was going to like post our texts and stuff and so I was like, okay, can you send me our text too? And he never did. Then I said, all right, send me Ike's number. He never sent me that. Whose um, number? Ike. Ike. Yeah. So I, I, I'm assuming you're going to just air the whole interview. Like I had. Yes. It, I mean, he's it's probably going to be it's grumpy up to you, with me. But for, yes. No. Yeah. I think it's better. But he's probably going to be grumpy with me for. I would have wanted to check with him, but I like Spaz said his name once already. So okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it. Right. So Ike had Ike rented money for Peter. Right. And so Ike you know he, he said it's still like 160 or something right that uh here at odom started with jg right and he's like you know i was talking about i was like listen i had half a deal and he's like oh okay but at all of it i'm like look there's an argument i should be responsible the rest whatever and uh you know he's being reasonable right um so so but when peter had initially pissed me off i was like buddy if you keep annoying me then we need to talk about something fair for the makeup Right. And around then is when I said, send me Ike's number. And then he's like, fuck you, get it yourself. And I'm like, yo, this is, that's not how it works that you can say, oh, I think someone owes me money, but I'm not going to send them fucking accounting for however long. Oh, this other thing that's completely independent, even though it fucking should be worth more than the amount you're complaining about. Oh, I need to cover the other half of the deal I didn't have. Like, it, it just, he's trying to stretch the truth and it pissed me off a lot, you know. So, anyway, Tom, that's my rant. That's cool. I hope yeah, you go to water so too were was he staking you for 1.5 million is that what i'm hearing and then the two of you went me in staking on... him what are you talking about he had no money i was staking him. he lost me 1.6 million in makeup 
Okay, it sounded like. Am I misunderstanding? It sounded yeah, like so he oh, you owe him. He wait, you understand you owe him that, five. right, Nick? What's that? So let's ask. Yeah, let's ask it this way here. Okay, Peter is saying he said at one point you owed him two hundred twenty-six k. Right? Is that a, at first the number? Because that's what I read on the internet. This is what his claim was. It's actually that's his right. Deal this, that I'm saying that, the claim. I, I'm not. I'm I not saying you own that his deal. Right, okay, but, so, but his claim was 226. Okay, so his claim is 226. And, and I'm going to put this in just complete layman's terms, and you correct me if I'm wrong or I missed it, okay? He is asking for it, and like you said, wouldn't give you the accounting, meaning it was a long time ago, so you needed to see exactly how it went down, right? Well, and also he had had a cash out that I remember because I remember he had the cash out. I didn't remember the dates exactly, right. but he mm -hmm. had a cash out that like I remember when he did it. I was like, yo, I don't want anything to do with this guy. I was pissed off. I was like, this was a selfish thing. And then he he talked to me and was like, it was like a pulling on heartstrings like oh, we're friends, please, whatever. I need this money. And I like ended up saying fine. Right. And so the future buy ins and future one point six million is after the cash out. Right. And mm -hmm. but so there was like one game in there that i don't know the figures aren't even in there. I, I thought he had won some maybe he lost some but that uh i got stiffed for and so that was part of why i was like i wanted to know when right. he's saying account you know i was yeah. if he's saying hey please give me this like we were friends a long time like whatever if he's saying like fuck you you owe this you're a scumbag i'm like yo send me the fucking accounting buddy right yeah, like okay. what are you talking so, about so 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 to say it in my terms that the way he was approaching you pissed you off and because it pissed you off instead of just doing the friend thing and saying okay here's what you owe me i owe you or whatever you work out you said send me the account no, no i don't think oh is i don't think oh is, like there was a few years of me being like okay the guy's in a bad spot i'm not going to ask for a penny of makeup i'm going to cover 100 percent of this not just the half i had direct right like you know I, I i didn't mind being nice to a friend of mine in a bad spot Right. And there was a point that he pissed me off enough that I'm like, okay, like fucking go through it properly. But right. Tommy, he's, and even in, unless I don't understand this right. And please don't get upset because I know this is tough for you, like because you've been dealing with it. But he is saying you owe him money. Is that correct? I mean, he's saying you owe him money. He's saying I do. Right. Yes. When yeah. when according and, to his accounting that he then finally sent me, it's OK, his deal does. Right. And then I'm like, OK, well, what about your makeup? Right. Like, OK. You, you know, that's my point is I'm saying you're you're yeah. spazzing on this kind of shit. I never care. I was never going to say you need to give me something for the makeup. Right. Because yeah. I'm like, so okay, what you're fine, saying is in his accounting, spot. in his accounting, he was not accounting for pieces of stuff that went on that you really should get for makeup. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there he has one point six million in makeup. Right. Right. So if he's saying like, fuck you, give me every penny. You're a scumbag. You're a piece of shit. Like and then he just gets out of one point six million in makeup. That's. Like, I'm holding every bag in that spot, right? That, now, I knew he I'm, had no yeah. money. I knew he had no money, so I was never going to ask for a penny for the makeup. Right. Until he started being an asshole. And there was a point I was like, yo, if you're doing, if you're going down that path, then it was like he, he was fucking cursing at me or something. I was like, if you curse at me one more time, we got to talk about what's fair for makeup. And that's when I said, send me Ike's, said, send me Ike's number, and he never sent it. Why would like he want whatever? Why would he want from you what he thinks you owe him, and then he doesn't want to pay his makeup? Why? But, well, it's not pay makeup. It's like you would you, give some of the action or so. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah, to not to worth to deduct to to basically do the math. Right. I'm saying maybe makeup should be worth say, you know, like a, a sixth to an eighth is like bare minimum. Maybe it yes. should be like a quarter or some shit, right? But a but obviously then it. that would be him owing me. Yeah, bunch, that's why I mean, he didn't know, want to account for what he owed you. He just right. Right. he wants to what? make me look bad not account right. for any of that. Whereas, for example, Ike, when I went and talked to Ike and he's like, yo, I thought you had all of it. Like, you know, then he shows me I missed a few messages from him and stuff. I'm like, I'm sorry, man, I didn't deal with this. Well. Like, that's how someone normally acts when they're like, yeah, I felt, felt a bit burned in this spot. Right. Yeah. They're like, they're like, oh, yeah, can, you, can we talk about it? Whatever. <laughs> right now. Like, At the end of the day, know, when with the makeup included what do you who owes who what in your in your opinion no if we actually fucking talk about it fairly he obviously owes yes more. but like that's not that's not, i was never trying to call it in right when i, I understand say, like when i feel like he's breaking a handshake then i'm like Fuck i you, understand dude. like you're breaking a handshake from before this i don't care if you think i should or if i should for this spot if you're breaking that handshake fuck you so you need to be clear are you breaking the handshake or not right like right because because basically he had this deal because of 
I, I don't want to get into it that much, but I mean, I'm guessing he's going to end up burning that anyway, but I, I'm not going to choose to do it, right? Because we have other friends involved and shit. Uh-huh. Um, but, it, you know, he, my opinion is he was trying to spend the truth a bunch. So. Yeah. How old is this uh, 1.5 makeup deal? That's from, so he had a cash out, which is the money he's complaining about, right? Then played tournaments, then the makeups after is, is at least according to his accounting. I thought the days were a little different. And then when I tried to ask him that, you know, he, it was like pretty clear to me he's going to be posting tax and stuff. And I'm like, yo, just, I don't have our tax, right? For, for some completely unrelated reasons. I had not had like my tax backups on. I happen to lose my phone, happen to not have my Twitter. He knows that that's when he fucking tweets, right? He doesn't send me likes. Now it's just, it's all these things that just don't, just don't make sense, right? I've had people all over fucking owe me money. There's definitely times I owed people money. People make it as easy as possible for someone to pay, right? They don't try to fucking weave a story. They don't try to do whatever. They don't say, oh, I, you might have had accounting from four years ago. Like if they have the accounting, they just say, here's the fucking accounting. Or they say, oh, I don't have it. Like that's yeah. just not, it, it's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? So where does it stand right now between you and Peter with everything you just said, going back and forth, where there's, you know, a couple layers to this. Where are you at right now with him in your mind or or literally? No, I mean, I told Ike, Ike has the majority of that. I told Ike, I'll deal with Ike. I don't, I don't, you know, and I was like, listen, as far as I'm concerned, any penny I give Ike goes to him. If he wants to give to Peter, I think that's bullshit, but it's whatever. I'm not going to say what he can and can't do, but like... I think Peter's being a scumbag and malicious. I don't. I don't know exactly the angle. I, I have my guesses. I told you some of them, but mm-hmm. and and part of why I'm doing interviews and stuff is because, like, I responded to some shit on Twitter just because I couldn't fucking help myself, right? But right. I think that's kind of what he wants. I don't know if it's for clicks, for you know, trying to get some deal, for trying to get in games. I don't know, but it's and this this was what was becoming clear to me a while ago was that there was some other angle i didn't think it was if you asked me a few months ago i didn't think it was going to be this but right like you know i thought maybe he was trying to look good to ike or something like that which like that would be like more forgivable i was still grumpy about it but you know but obviously now it's it's a little different so. yeah i'm trying to figure out where to go from here because it's uh so, um, on this subject specifically, you know, because um, I don't want to trigger think, you either because I want to keep pressing. on. No, a couple that's what I got the water for. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, do you want to do you want to go to Haralabob? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I think it's better to do one than the other because I'm just going to get extra tilted if we're jumping back and forth. Yeah, I want to just I mean? when we're finished with Peter, we can do that. OK, because it's yeah, so now you're, you're basically not dealing with Peter anymore. You're just going through Ike. Is that? No, I mean, he's still, yesterday I was saying he wouldn't fucking send me messages or whatever, and then he did, like, I I don't know how much of whatever, I don't don't want to put Ike in a weird spot, but finally Peter sent me messages, right? And so then I was like, okay, finally, right? Because it's like, obviously he's going to be posting chat history and stuff, and then I go look, and it's like, oh, there's two years missing, including all the days around cash outs and shit like that, and it's just like, okay, like, come on, right? Like, there's a bunch of shit deleted, it's like... Like, yeah. I, I, so, you know. Tom, let me ask you: like, what is the motivation right now for him to be doing this? I think he likes a publicity or some shit like that, right? Why? But why you, is he acting so different? To you I, don't believe right? like, he really believes you owe him anything. He's just doing it for the publicity and trying to skirt out of some of the obvious credits I or think the he accounting. Felt, no, I think he felt an excuse. Right. I think he feels like, you know, I handled one spot wrong and he's using it to push or whatever. What the mm-hmm. fuck is that cat? Yeah, it's cat, cat is that? It's my cat. It's Salem. Um, <laughs> you're not but, you're not hallucinating. I think my point, you know, to him that, I, that, that we had talked about this a few times. Right. And he would kind of say, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm stressed or, or I was stressed. And so then I was like, OK, fine, whatever. If I'm annoyed, like a guy with my friend a long time, I'm not going to try to account and be like yo if there's five spots i feel like we're wrong by me and one maybe i didn't handle perfect by you i'm not going to try to tax those five right yeah obviously at this point i'm like yo sum this shit up like fuck you right and especially when it's like burning clear deals and stuff or maybe burning clear deals so like, did he sum it up or did you sum it up no, is no, there he's a... never been well he's never been willing to sum any of them okay like, so, that's... so so this so his side of it the missing accounting and the other 
deals that you no, had. His, his his thing is like, oh, well, you didn't directly ask. For, I mean, I guess. So we had talked twice. I guess maybe I asked for them. Maybe I didn't fucking specifically say it in a text, and that's what he's going to try to use. It, it seemed clear to me for a while he's trying to spin it publicly. And I'm just like, yo, this is like not a fucking credible story, buddy. Right? Like, if if I believe someone owes me money and they ask for fucking accounting, I send them accounting. Right? If they ask for, like, oh, what were the dates of the cash out? I fucking, it clicks, it takes two clicks to export the chat. Right? Like, it's just not, it's not believable. Like, it's not a credible story. Right. So, in layman's but he got terms, a lot of clicks and shit. So in layman's I think terms, that's the angle. In layman's terms, he's asking for something that he's not willing or hasn't given the accounting. This is layman terms. Let me finish it. Where he's not giving the accounting and you don't believe because that you owe him anything. Is that a layman's terms version of this? No, like in, initially when I was asking for this, right, I wanted to just know the details. I didn't know if that money I got stiff for was in there or not. I think I had thought the makeup was like 800 or a million or something, right? It's like someone I was really generous to a bunch of the time so when he was saying please give me 226 or whatever I, like i know he's in a bad spot i'm like okay fine i feel grumpy about the cash out whatever i was like fine i'll get it to you when i can basically okay right? I was that, like, Don't that helps me it, but I'll that get helps it to you me understand where it starts and then when he starts you know doing shit that in my opinion is being a complete asshole right, right. i'm like yo like this is a little different send me the accounting whatever but i'm still but then the few times we talked he's like oh i'm sorry whatever i'm stressed i'm like okay fine right it's like oh it's causing me a problem but like i'm like all right fine like whatever fine right and but th but then he'd send me some other grumpy message i'm like send me fucking accounting right like you know yeah and, i understand and what I you're saying you're saying you're saying you're willing whatever, to like, turn you're willing to turn a blind eye to something that it could actually be accounted for just because, and and then you're like, fine, I'll pay you the 226, but then he's a dick, and then you're like, fine, if you want to yeah, be a I'm dick. Yeah, like, no, we fucking, yeah, I want to yeah. see every detail. Yeah, right? if, if he's going to be a dick, I you want to see it all. But that was before the 30K. Yeah. But why the 30K? No, what was the 30K about? Because he finally sent me accounting, and so my half of the deal, yeah. right, was was like 30 or I think I think I actually shorted him like four four K or three K or whatever, but it was like thirty three or thirty four. But when I opened it, his message just pissed me off so much. I was like, I'm not going back and fucking reading through where the accounting thing is. I'm just sending thirty, right? Because he right. sent me some fucking okay. like threatening yeah, that's honest. messages. Mm -hmm. Um, but but so I was like, you know, and I had said to him because at that point I had said to him, I was like, listen, if you want me to cover the other half, we need to talk about something at least quasi fair for makeup. I wasn't even fucking asking for a pen. I was just like. Like, fuck you. Like, at this point, you're being a scumbag, right? And so that's when I was saying, like, I'm just not willing to take the worst of every fucking drop of the spot, right? Like, and, and then from there, it's just gotten more and more. Like, and forgive he, said, me. he said publicly, he fronted this money, not like he said fucking, I've never helped him once. Like, anyone that knows both of us knows this kind of shit is just complete bullshit, you know? Mm -hmm. But. And the other half that you reference is owed by who, in theory? Uh, I mean, I'll text you if you want. I don't really want to share people's business. No, um, then don't. Then don't. But, but just some other yeah, individual yeah. that that he's accounted that he's accountable for it. Not exactly. But I'll text you if you want. Okay, to, I, we, that's we, fine. I don't want to share people's. I, it's people's fine. Business. But it's, it's fine. a spot that I I have no problem, you know, or had no problem covering in like a oh please can you cover all this i get stuff? it right i get it, it. In a, you were going to be yeah. more than amicable until he started fucking being a dick to you is your is it's your right, word i thought and then his position was like no no you show 100 blah, blah blah and then at some point i got pissed off like a month or two ago and said listen if you keep doing this then we got to arbitrate right that was Tom, around when i said send me yeah. ike's number and then he said no we can arbitrate with the public and tweeted and i just okay got like, it and he so, knew i didn't have my fucking twitter right he he knew i didn't have my twitter because i couldn't message ike on twitter and so I'm like, yo, this is just like every fucking action doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, like, it doesn't make sense, and it's and it's making you grumpy. I'm gonna ask you a direct question. It's definitely if making it, me grumpy. Yes, if I'm gonna ask you a direct question, besides yeah, the two, besides the two or four thousand or whatever you said, fuck it, I'm not gonna go back and look at it. Do you owe him anything right now? Mm -hmm. I, I, not that I know of. Is, is there a chance there's some fucking random accounting figure of 4,000 from five That's what I mean. Ago, not about the 4,000. Not about the extra. Saying, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying some unrelated. Is there a chance there's some random 10,000 accounting issue that he's holding on to or something? Sure. I don't think so. Got and it. If he sends you. Money, and if, if he, he sends, sends you the accounting, accounting, you'll pay. I already have the accounting. He finally sent it. That was why oh. I sent that. You, you just don't want to go through it. 
What are you talking about? To find if there's an extra 10 or 4 or whatever. Like you said, if you have all the accounting. No, I don't think there is. My point is, yeah. I'm, yeah, as far as I know, there's no penny other than that 34, 33, 37, whatever the fuck that was. That's what are I'm you asking gonna, you. Are you going to ask Perfect. him to tweet this out and clear it up? If that's the fuck case. Him. Why? I have, he's, he's being a scumbag. What, what do you mean ask? The guy won't even send me the fucking chats. Right? Mm -hmm. Like why? Yeah. There's no, he clearly has an angle, right? He's deleting a bunch of messages in our chats. He fucking, like, he clearly has an angle, right? Like, okay. it, it, it's very, very clear to me. So, you know, the, the, in my opinion, when I said we can arbitrate this, and he was saying no and not sending Ike's number and stuff. I was like, okay, I realize I'm in, it, it was like a hard pill to swallow, right? It's someone I was close to for a long time, but I was like, I realize I'm in a different situation. Like there, there's a very clear angle here. And then I didn't really know yeah. what that angle was actually till I was on the plane to Jeju and I was like, you, whatever. I, I, now I have my guesses of a little more what the angle is. But like yeah. I said, that part, I don't want to really share a public. But. Actually, through all that, it was a little bit uh, dicey for me to figure out, but I think I got it. Yeah, you know, we got there. And so, I'm, no, I'm serious. No, she, uh, me too. I'm yeah. still trying it, to figure this no, out. Well, you can ask I, me if you want. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. I'm not it's just I'm because, explaining it super clear, but it's like a yeah. spot I feel really burned. So it's yeah. like, yeah, Tom. You, you know, and I think it's intentional that he's like trying to warp this and stuff, right? Like, I'm not saying I was great by Ike in this spot, right? I, Ike effectively thought I was on the hook, hook for it. He wouldn't have fronted the money if he didn't think I was on the hook for it. Like, okay, fine. Someone like that, it's like, hey, can we chat here? Oh, hey, yeah, anything else you need? Okay, fine. Like, that's how, how someone normally acts when they feel like you should cover something or maybe you should cover something. Yeah. Right? Not yeah. like, oh, I sent you that accounting once four years ago. It's your fault. You're, you know, <laughs> it's like, go fuck yourself. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> you. You and I have had many conversations and we have different communication styles and I, we've laughed about it. And there's been a hundred times where I've said, fuck, please, Tom, say it a different way. Like, I never know what you're talking about. Right. Cause you're just, you have a, you're just, you're probably thinking two layers ahead or whatever it is. So I believe that from what I heard from you, I got it. It is, it, it is a couple different, couple different deals that, I don't even want to try to explain it. I, I could do it in layman's well, terms, but I, I have if a... If I try to sum it up, I think basically I didn't mind taking the worst of it on one spot, right? Right. And, or, or on a bunch of spots, I mean. And, and Peter might have gotten very slightly the worst of it on his cash out spot. And at the point he started yelling and screaming, I was like, okay, you got to send me the info if you want me to yeah. ignore the other 10 right. and handle this one. And then he's like, you know, I'm guessing that it, you know he has some earlier text some shit like this it makes me look slightly bad right maybe he sent the accounting once four years ago and i didn't find it or some shit who knows yeah right? sure and then instead of say like the normal thing someone would do is oh here's here's that yeah if someone's on the up and right? up they're just going to send you the accounting because they want to be paid that's that's my point it's like, okay i got it but obviously then when he was already annoying me i'm like you, you know i was trying to say like do you realize like you're not seeing this fair and it's there was just never a. Uh, and so then I was getting a bit more annoyed, but whatever. I still was like, fine. He sent it to me. I was like, I'll send my half. And then we just need to talk something about the makeup, right? And but and you, then I don't mind talking about, you know. But I you said, do I'll believe, you, you do believe that after this other piece, maybe there's a couple thousand left. Maybe there's 10, maybe there's four, whatever. That, no, that no, part's. I, I mean, I gave, I. Okay. No, that's. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, no, you, you said not, that earlier. You said that earlier. There might be like a few thousand. I didn't look at you know that's there that I didn't see. No, but see. Ike and I talked, and I'm saying, no, that's I gave okay. Ike some after that. So, so marker, marker, not... marker down. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, on that piece, I wouldn't call that that. I think Peter's looking to be able to say that basically. Oh, the reason I spun it this way is because that's the hell I got to get paid. Whatever, you know, like that's. Yeah, I think that's his intention basically. Okay, but that's his intention on the other piece, that marker down, that he doesn't owe anything. Well, so no, I think he wants to get out of the makeup or something like that. That's or what I'm saying. Or something. He's trying to right, get right. out of the makeup. And yeah, so I, I feel like he's trying to spin some story for whatever, or he doesn't, maybe not even trying, but it's like he doesn't care that it's, he's spinning it unfair and he gets a bunch of benefits. I already know that. that he's, like that. I already know that, you know that, that you believe he's not sending things, he's trying to wiggle out of something, but I'm trying to be really literal, really literal and simple. He, you believe you owe nothing now after you sent the 30. It's just yes or no, man. Like that you, you just, you, unless there's like some stupid shit out there that you don't know about, you believe marker down on your end. 
No, because Ike thought Ike thought that I had all of it, right? So it's like not really necessarily fair by Ike if like so there's another half if Peter that... Peter being an asshole spills onto that, right? But or or me and Peter having issues, or maybe you know maybe I didn't handle some of the parts perfect, right? So that's like not on not on the markup, but on the other piece. Who owes who, in your opinion? No matter it doesn't matter who's trying to be nice. Doesn't matter who. Between thinks, me it, and Peter, I think after shit he's done, if we go arbitrate it, I don't owe that half, right? But I don't think that's cool by Ike. I don't think Ike's tried to be weird, right? I think okay, Ike so so let me just say this. So let me say this. There's I, there's half that you think Ike owes. Ike doesn't think so. What do you Pete, mean, Ike? No, no, Ike's owed, Ike's the one who fronted the money for Peter. So you, but you keep no saying the other half. Do you stuff. understand, Valerie? I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying. One of, one of me and Peter's buddies had the, the other half on, on a deal with this, right? I don't want to get into full specifics if that guy wants to How talk How much about is the it. other half? Theoretically, how whatever's, much is... Whatever's left, like one, one, uh, 190 or something. Okay. But Ike, Ike wasn't paid a bunch of... You know, so the whole story Peter told me was, oh, this... Uh, uh, the money was all fronted by Ike, oh, like, this kind of shit, right? And then I would ask him around around cash out stuff and I wouldn't get like clear answers. And then when I talked to Ike, he said um, that he thought I had all of it and yada, yada, and, and that he was still owed like 160. Why, why was there a mis miscommunication as to who has what percentage of it? Between you and Ike. I, mean, I don't, I wasn't, yeah. I, did, I didn't message Ike when Ike gave him money, right? Like there was no... So I gave like, him the money, had, assuming that you had 100% of it? That's what he said. I thought I had 100% of it. I, I think, I, I don't want to, I already feel like I shouldn't have brought up Ike's name. I don't want to talk yeah. about Ike's part that much, like, without asking him. Um, but when he said that, was I... Was that an assumption you know, that he made on a regular basis for you? I think that was plenty good faith by Ike, right? He said that, we talked a little bit, I was like, okay, fine, and I sent him 100 right then, and was like, I might need you to you know, chat to Peter a little, have him send me texts, this kind of shit, right? Like, I was like, fine. I don't think Ike means bad there, right? I, I think me and Peter shit spilled onto Ike a bit much for that to, uh, so, but, but, yeah, I don't, you know, I, I think Peter's trying to characterize things in a really bullshit way, basically. Um, What has Ike said? Like, does Ike agree with you or with Peter? No, I don't want to, I don't want to. Okay. That's fine. That I don't think I don't think I even I meant to not mention his name. Uh, I let yeah. it slip because okay. I was. All right, we'll we'll <laughs> drop we'll I drop wanna... his end of it. Okay, how about this? How about this, Tom? Maybe we could just ask you this in this term because I'm. It's I got to be honest with you. It's really tough for me to track on the way we're communicating about it, but that's okay. I kind of thought right, that was so going to happen. Peter had a deal. I had half of Peter's deal, right? Mm -hmm. Our mutual buddy had the other half on his deal. I didn't want to deal with Peter, right? I, right. I when Peter had that. There was like one earlier time I didn't want to deal with it. Then the cash out thing happened. I really didn't want to have fucking anything to do with it. Our mutual buddy convinced me. Okay, fine. Obviously, in hindsight, I wish I hadn't been convinced. Right? Like this was. What the was the deal? Shit. What specifically was the deal? I mean, like he had pieces of other people on Peter's deal, even right? He was. It was stupidly favorable to Peter. So um, it's all staking. Yeah, for like poker action and shit. He had he had pieces of one of the Greenwoods on it. I think we. I think we bought some or we talked about buying some of their makeup at like, I think we valued that at like 25% or something, which is probably a little to be nice to them. But, you know, like obviously his is a little bigger number, but that would be like fucking 400K or something, right? Like it, it, it just, I, I basically let him, you know, we were friends a long time. So I let him do, put most things on that, right? He was in a bad spot, he didn't have much money or whatever. But then there were a few times he annoyed me. So I was like, all right, I don't want to deal with this. And then my buddy convinced me to keep doing it. And like, probably shouldn't have given in on that one, obviously. Um, but yeah, so, so, so that deal I had half of, right? And, uh, you know, Peter had some cash out, right? And the cash out, he says, was, was a few months before these tournaments. I. Like, that's not my recollection, but I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't go fully check, right? I only got the accounting a month ago. How does that work, Tom? Why does, how could someone want their cash out if they have money that's owed on the makeup? 
Uh, no, tell me in the poker was, world think, how that works. I think he probably didn't have makeup at the time. I think he was probably up that amount or whatever. Uh -huh. But it was like, he was, I forget exactly. I think he was supposed to leave a certain amount of deal and stuff like that. And so I remember around that I was just like, all right, like, let's just not have, let's finish or whatever. My buddy convinced us to keep why having can't, a deal. In the simplest terms, why can't the money owed on the cash out and the, and the makeup just be added and subtracted and somebody pay the difference and we'd be done with it? Well, yeah, I mean, he doesn't have money. So that was the whole point when he was like annoying me for three years or whatever. I didn't want to charge him for the makeup, right? Because he's out of money, right? So I wanted. So in to your be mind, nice. is that marker forgiven, or is it still owed now that he makes you that he pissed you off? Fuck forgiving that. Why would I? I, I forgive no. that for probably almost everyone I ever staked if they were in a bad spot. Fuck forgiving it in this spot. Fuck him. That's what well, you're not hearing. Me you're not hearing me. Like, you're not hearing me. I. That's what I said. I said. You you initially were just going to forgive it because he was in a rough spot, but now that he pissed you off, it's not forgiven. Now in your mind, it's owed. Well, it's not like he pissed me off once or twice or whatever, right? I like get it's it. Not, it doesn't matter how many times. One day having a bad day, like in my opinion, he's been in bad faith for a long fucking that's, time. Look, we don't have to. T that's what I'm trying to say in the simplest terms. And all you have to do is say, yeah, that's it. Like it, it, I wasn't going to well, worry yeah, about. So, so before he first was tweeting or whatever right he had said he was gonna tweet i was like whatever like douchebag move but fine right and that the one thing i was saying was please like you know are you are you agreeing you won't break your handshake or are you saying you're gonna because if he's breaking the handshake i don't care whatever fucking other shit i was like i'm just not paying it fuck you right like mm -hmm. he, that right. that's gonna cost me and a bunch of my friends more um and i think at this point i think he's probably gonna anyway but whatever okay. um and uh Fuck, well, I, I'm, I'm drunk, you know, forgetting what I was going to say. No, so, I, 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 just, so, I just think it's so simple. Oh, so around then I was like, yo, if you keep if you keep pissing me off, I want something fair for the makeup. Right? Yes. Or I, want, no, I didn't even say something fair. I was like quasi fair, like something slightly fair. That's when I said, send me Ike's number. And then okay. he's like, no, we can go public, you know, <laughs> and fucking tweets when I don't even have my Twitter. Okay, like, for the nice viewers, week. for the viewers, uh, for the purposes of the viewers and let me fin finish the sentence and I don't mean to be redundant and I don't mean to upset you in a time that like it's a tough time for you. So let me get the statement out and and don't think about anything else but what I'm asking you and it's probably where we're at and just say, yeah, that's basically it or no. There's two different aspects of this. There's money. Uh, there's money you owe to him for cash out. Let me finish the sentence at some point and then at some point there was a ton of makeup he wants the money for the cash out you're saying okay wait a minute just let me finish in your head you're saying or maybe to him i wasn't sweating the makeup because you were in a tough thing but now you're coming for your cash out and that's cool but now that you're being a dick about it, now I'm not just going to pay you whatever that number is, whether you have half of it or or all of well, it no, doesn't that's matter. The thing is he wants he wants me to cover a hundred percent of it. I know. Also be stuck Hold, with hundred percent of the makeup. I know. Even so I have half the deal, I'm almost like, I'm almost there. I'm saying what you're saying. That's what I mean. Sorry. And so now he wants you to cover all of the cash out, and now he doesn't want to deal with the makeup, and he's trying to get out of it. In, in your opinion, and it's ticking you off, and now you guys are at a kind of crossroads on the counting. I mean, I, I really think that's what you, what you just said. Like, Meaning but, like- But I think the one difference here, the one thing I think you're leaving out is like, I was basically like, fine, whatever, when he was saying, please. I did not leave it out. He's like, fuck that's, you, you're a scumbag. And Tom, like, okay, you're not like, listening to what I'm saying. I actually said that. At first, right, you were like, tilted. you were yeah, at first you were cool with it, because you were like, fuck it. He's in hard times. You're cool with it. But now that he's coming cool this way. Cool with it is a stretch. I mean, I was pissed off no, by you're, it, but, but you're I was micromanaging, still going to give in. No, you're micromanaging the words to, to make it complicated. You're complicating this. Hold on. it's a spot that pisses me off, buddy. You right. Know? So <laughs> you were in a spot where you weren't jamming him for the makeup, but now that he's of jamming. Course. Right. But, but now, you're, now he's jamming you for the, for the cash out, and he's saying you owe all of it. So now you're digging in and saying, you know, I was being cool about it, but now I want the accounting because I think you deserve now to pay what you owe. Well, yes. Also, yeah. When, when, when he had initially started being a bit of an asshole, right? I was like, if, if you annoy me enough, we need to arbitrate the other half. Right? I get like, it. Fucking half the deal. Like, and then that's when I talked to Ike and Ike's like, look, I thought you had all of it. I'm like, he, he's still like 160. I'm like, okay, fine. Right. Got like, it. That's fine. You know, because, I, because 
like it's being reasonable right and it's like and i'm not saying you know like i did miss messages from mike and stuff right i was like i'm not saying it's fair how me and peter shit spilled onto ike right like you know so like that's a much different spot like you ever see the movie the beautiful mind nick <laughs> Listen, stop it, Valerie. I, the only reason I'm saying that is because you're actually. No, you're trying I'm actually, to make it really. You're trying to make it really clean, but you don't realize like the reason he's using this spot is because it wasn't. A lot of times in like high stakes gambling shit, yeah, spots like this, especially stadium stuff, stuff's not a hundred percent exactly clean. And so what he's saying is, oh, there's this one spot that maybe I didn't handle perfect by him. Yes. Right. And he's trying to force me to handle that exactly perfect. Ignore a bunch of other spots he was weird by me. And then even if that was true, why don't you send the accounting? Why don't you send the text around the cash out? Why don't you I completely send, you know understand I mean? you now. I and completely like, get it. Dude, like, are you fucking joking? Yeah. But right, I asked him the other day, it, it, you know, it takes like two clicks to do the export chat button, right? And then finally, when I gave him a hard time, he sent it. But before that, he sent me a bunch of texts where it's like, I knew it already, but he had a, a bunch of them ready to go. Of like, oh, this one looks bad. See, this one looks bad. See, I'm like, yeah. I, I want the chat history. Like, you're obviously going to post yeah. text. Send me the fucking chat history, you know? And he wouldn't do it until until I pressured him to. You know, so. Yeah, that was it. Was just trying to send you stuff that benefited his cause. I'm assuming. I mean, I looked at like two of them. I was just like, yeah, like right, what right. the fuck does this matter, right? Like, I okay. want to see when when the cash out stuff was and stuff. And so then I was like happy when he sent the chat history. Then I go back and look. Oh, two years of it's fucking missing right around the cash out. I, I actually like, honestly now understand it, and I just think there's just different forms of communication, and so I I get it. It's complicated and. Uh, now that we had to like, you know, go around with it, um, I, I think I actually understand it. And it's a it's a complicated well, situation. Let me ask Tom. Well, but I don't what, think he means well in this spot. Like, I that's get that. Why, yes. You, you know, you're saying because he doesn't mean well. Stuff. This is complicated yeah. because he doesn't have good intentions. So ex I'm, exactly. Right. Like, I'm curious. I'm not saying I handled it perfect. I think Ike meant fine. So it's Tom, like, I want to walk in, but I'm going to lose. Yeah, go ahead, Veronica. So. Yeah, Tom. So I want to know from your perspective, given, you know, you're on the inside, what do you think is a fair resolution to this, this specific, most of, not most of yeah. these spots. I don't try to force what's fair. I don't mind taking a bit, the worst of it, whatever. <laughs> Obviously there was a spot. I got pissed off enough that I said, if you keep annoying me, we can arbitrate. That's when the fucker went and tweeted, right? It's like, you know. And so it's like then he's trying to spin a story and stuff. I, I don't even fucking know, right? I wasn't. My intention wasn't to force it. It was like just fucking be reasonable. I didn't mind taking the worst of it. I know he doesn't have fucking money, right? Like now, I, I don't know. You know, now now I'm not very concerned with. I, I know I'm not getting money for his makeup and shit, right? I know I know, like, even with what I already gave gave Ike, I'm gonna be out a bunch, right? Like. I'm not concerned with trying to get that back. Peter has no fucking money, whatever, right? Like, but now I'm in a spot where it's like, okay, he, you know, he texts me a bunch of times, like, I'm going to ruin your reputation for this kind of shit. And I'm like, okay, like, I'm pissed off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. So, I, I actually understand. And, and, then, what and then I actually want to reply on fucking Twitter and stuff, but I think he's like liking that. Right, because then he gets clicks and shit and whatever, and I, I don't know if he wants some fucking getting games or sponsorship or what the fuck his angle is, but like, so that's why I'm like, okay, I guess I'll do well, videos and shit. Tom, you know? in, in fairness to you, actually, it it's he's doing you an injustice because he's making a claim. There's no There's no details, and it's impossible to say what you just said on Twitter. So this is the smart route, and... Probably yeah, on Twitter, no one's going to understand this. No, if he wants to be a scumbag, his his route makes sense. But it's like, that's why one of the things I said on Twitter was like, yo, I brought up arbitrating and you fucking tweeted, right? Anyone that's around high stakes gambling just knows that you're full of shit if you do something like that. Like, it just, yeah, that's just bizarre. You know what I mean? It, it, there's, there's not, it's, there's not a world, like, I might have a bunch of poker fan people that, follow me or people that saw this or whatever that that don't like it because it's a story that looks bad for me that are like oh i should have kept the accounting myself like there's not a fucking world where someone you think owes you money says can you send me the accounting and you don't fucking send them the yeah accounting. makes sense that's just not that's like not the high stakes gambling world right if he didn't have it or something that's different right but he, it's like you know 
it, all of my responses along there are like, okay, we can have our friends arbitrate. We could have even initially when I was pissed off, I was like, just, I wasn't even saying arbitrate. I was like, let's just see what I think. Sorry, when I said send me his number, you know, and his yeah. response was like, fuck you, get it yourself. Like that, yeah, that doesn't make me want to do right by you. <laughs> and I feel burned in a bunch of yeah. other spots when you I, say, fuck I, I want to ask yourself. you something that I think should be a very simple answer, but if it's not and and we can't get it answered, we'll move on to the next topic. I guess, let me finish the sentence first too, so you really know what I'm asking. If if everything, well, because I want you to know. Let me finish the sentence. Well, because because your mind works fast and you you cut in the middle, which is okay. This is this is your time to, to cook, not mine. But the question would be, without any forgiveness either way you, you nobody forgiving anyone of their of their debt if all the if all the payback was added and all the cash out was added and everything was added what side would owe who I mean, what? I mean, am I going to also get some tax for the lies and shit? Like, that's not, you know, I said something. Okay, like that you can we'll add the tax day. after. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I said something like that the other day. It's like, of course he has no money. I'm not going to try to fucking. No, no, we know he doesn't like, have the money. I'm just saying if me, God, you know I mean? if God would extract it from somewhere off a tree if some, and if we did bet, all the right? accounting, if we did look, all the look, accounting, example, hold on. Haralabob, and it was Haralabob, all. Here, here, I'll give you an example. Let me see. Haralabob has money. If he wanted to go bet Peter's side and we arbitrate. Like yeah, they, he pays me money. Obviously, it's like not okay. even fucking. Okay, that's the que- that's right? the answer I was looking for. Who owes you know, who? But but well, no, but it's not. I'm not a scumbag. I'm not going to try to fucking have my fucking broke former buddy pay. I money didn't. That's what I'm saying. Like that. That's why I wanted but you to now really I don't hear. Know what I want to do, you know what I mean? Like now, I'm just pissed off. So it's like I'm I don't not... want to. I don't want to like react out of anger and be like, oh, this broke person must give me more money. Tom, but like, I'm also really pissed off. I know yeah. that. And I know that you want to be fair. I'm say I was just asking the question based on math, not on feelings, not on who's cool, not on who's not just, it was a math question. That was it. That was all. Yeah. I, I know mean, there's I think, more to I think, that. I'm not sure we actually did, but I think we were, I think we bought one of the Greenwoods makeup at like fucking 25% or 30% or 20% uh, or some shit like right. that on Peter's deal, actually. Right. right. I'm not sure. We might've talked about it and not done it, but I think we did. So there's um, some gray area, but you would probably be No, his money. is a little more, but I'm saying Yeah. Yeah, so his is a little more, so maybe you'd value the percentage a little less, right? But like if everyone was acting honorable, like yes. yeah, obviously that the one point six million makeup asset was probably worth more than two twenty six at the time he starts tweeting. Got right? it. Like Got it. And so it's like, come on, right? Like now yeah. I'm not gonna go say that to Ike and be like, sorry, buddy, like you know, you thought I had this and whatever like, yeah that's a different human it, element right, of different. the deal you know, i get it uh, yeah like saying like come on like uh, that's fine like that's you know i yeah. totally get it because there's other elements that are that are emotions human actions so i got it i was just talking about Wait, that's basically what happened here is he's like oh i have one spot i can make you look bad and then for whatever fucking reason pushes it you know yeah and and i don't know it started being clear to me a few months ago something like that was going on right obviously i didn't know it was going to go exactly like this but it, it was like it was very weird you know yeah so okay uh do you have anything else you want to say on that subject this is your platform i mean i probably to will in five minutes what do you what do you think veronica let's have let's have her say something i mean about this i'm do you got I'm, a question I've got... do you got whatever Go ahead, I, yeah. just want, I mean, I want someone to question me where it's not a Nick speech. The Nick speech is driving me crazy. Well, you sure look, I'm going to ask you and I'm going to say the whole thing and I need you to just let me get the sentence out. Come on. Veronica, <laughs> exactly. Be yeah. Serious. Every time. Every well, time. because <laughs> because I was cut off every <laughs> because I was cut off every time and nobody yeah, and you didn't I'm hear mega tilting. This is like my first video about it. Come on, buddy. I'm mega uh, tilting. Let, let Tom get tilted. <laughs> a little you bit. ask the questions. So go ahead. <laughs> no, no, we'll no. I, I, I think I about this. Yeah, sure. I don't know. What do you, what do you th- hit me with the question? Hit me with what do you think? Something. Well, I, I mean, I'm curious about Haralabob, to be honest, because I don't know if we're going to get one. more out of this. Or is there more? Is there more we could get out of this, Tom? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not fucking paying attention. I'm tilted. Like I'm saying, okay. do you have a question? Do you? What do you think? I don't yeah. know. We'll talk about Haralabob in a minute. Like. I mean, you want to go something light? You want to tell us about the weather? You want to? You're going to come to the million dollar cash game? We're in J2. Uh, yeah, Ryan yeah. text me. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to the million dollar game. Um, I, I'm assuming I'll play every day. Um, I mean, I think you should. Actually, I'll tell you something light. Before before I called you guys, I was seeing Jungle Man. Um, yeah, he said he's not, your therapist now. No, no, that was the other day we had dinner. But uh, I just ran into him as I was getting coffee, right? Because you guys were like, 
being slow setting up or whatever. And uh, <laughs> Jungle Man and I definitely don't always see eye to eye. We weren't like we also weren't friends, so I don't feel like like you know if, if he pushed something away a bit harsh or whatever, I have a lot more forgiveness, right? I feel like we both both haven't we both said sorry to each other, haven't been perfect by each other over shit. But like the more we talk, we see things closer together. That's like a normal interaction, right? Like I see him for coffee, just fucking chat for five minutes about some bullshit. Like that's like a normal, you know, I've been really grumpy with Jungle many times. He's been really grumpy with me. But like the more I talk to him, the more I think he's acting in pretty good faith, right? And I think he feels similar, right? And it's like the Peter spot, I feel extremely opposite. Bob is a little bit in the middle, but way closer to the Peter side. But and so I think, I think you know, just to zoom out, if Jungle Man is the voice of reason and Peter and Bob are being way worse, then, like, come on, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, I don't you, know, that was my event. So you and Jungle are good now, uh, I'm assuming, because you I'm guys... I'm not saying we're good. I'm saying it's, like, it, you don't always need to see everything out there. You can still talk shit through, still, like... Yeah. yeah. You know, there's times I think he was not perfect for me. I wasn't perfect by him. We Usually we'd talk it through, and then one of us would own up to it. It might take a little bit, but, like, whatever, you know. Are you guys square with uh, owing each other money? Do you still owe Jungle Man money? I mean, I gave Jungle 1.4 out of 1.5. I think he has an argument for the other 100. Um, I don't, you know, I basically said, like, fine. Like, I don't, you know, whatever. Okay, I think so he has you guys an argument. are good. Yeah, I would say that, you know, I think Jungle sometimes will say grumpy stuff or whatever, but I think... Uh, I think I was pretty reasonable. I think he'll, I think he'll agree to that, you know? And I think we, we had, there were definitely times I didn't handle it great. I think there was some stuff he didn't handle great, but like, you know, cause, cause the thing is like, for example, jungle, I don't want to bring up other stuff. And he's actually generally been pretty good about that. Um, but it's like, why, if there's some story that could make me look a little bad or some story that could make him look a little bad about an unrelated issue, but both of us have more context. If we're both operating in even like a little bit decent faith, why wouldn't we talk that out me and him or me and him and some mutual friend or something like that? And that's what Jungle and I have done a bunch of times. Why did it go south with you guys when Jungle was ranting about it? Why was, what happened there? Why did it not be as amicable as it is now? I, I don't want to speak, Jungle and I probably do something together at some point, but I don't want to speak for him. You know, I, I, I would rather, Talk about jungle with him there so if he thinks i'm wrong he can call me an idiot or whatever okay. like that's cool yeah no that's fair um okay well you guys decide what subject you want to be on so i'm i'm since you know the million dollar cash game you and harala bob you and bob were in the game together right yeah and uh he basically was talking about how you've owed him money for 12 years and he said uh it's that's 350 thousand that's his story, sure. From uh, it's been over twelve years, two thousand ten. Um, and he his said, story, sure. "Yeah, yeah. Are you interested in talking to us about how that debt uh, happened? Because he went on a podcast and talked about it, but he didn't name you. I don't know if you saw that podcast. And he said I don't that know. was this recently or what? Uh, it was like uh, seven years ago. Um, and he said I don't that know. He sent me something, but." Um, you were placing sports bets for him in his name, and he didn't know whether yeah, you so were he, actually. Yeah, I mean, he's completely full of shit. He would try to, he wanted to fucking call a guy himself and stuff. Like, the story he wrote, there were like eight things wrong with it. That's why I was pissed off, right? And so there was a, a guy betting that I don't remember 100% of the details, but I had basically guaranteed to Bob, right? That guy I had pieces of and stuff, and I ended up out a bunch of money around the spot right and when that, there was a case that happened i actually owed bob a figure at the time i had money in my bank account that was seized because of the case and there were there were uh it, the, the big account i was betting was almost all bob and one other group right and and the money was seized because of the other group and, and that was the was 350k no, no, this was like, I think I had 1.6 seized or something. It might have been 1.7, it might have been 1.5, but something like that. And I owed Bob at the time like 1.1 from our betting, right? 
And it was like, I think our betting had ended like say a month or two before that case, right? Like, yeah, I mean, technically I should have had it to him sooner, but it was like, you know, the other side lost, he won. Like, it's a pretty normal kind of thing in like a high stakes gambling spot to have that, right? And then he was running around telling everyone I was a scumbag, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, buddy, drive with me to the bank. Like, you can't say that you don't believe this and not drive to the bank. It's like it's fucking five minutes away from Vegas or L.A. or wherever we be, you know. And he would try to bring up, um, you know, he would try to bring up a, a spot that he thought could cause me a little legal headache, right? Which, like, I, I don't think legally I did anything wrong, but I, it was around a case where uh, a lot of people got caused headache when they hadn't done stuff wrong. And so my point to Bob was, if you want to say, please honor this 350, even with all that shit, like, okay, fine. You want to say, please, and then the next day you go out and say, Tom's a scumbag, he owes me 350, his bank money was fake, oh, I'm going to cause, I'm going to cause a problem on, you know, some sports related shit legally, like, then fuck you, I don't want to honor 350, right? Like, that, it's not, that was not me and him direct. Bob got every single penny from me and him direct. This is some other, other spot that he wanted me to honor. Why did if why did the other uh, side? How were they able to seize the money or get into the, your account? The U.S. government seized seized. Uh, it was it was like the big uh, federal case, like the you know the Trump Tower Russia Mafia case. Yeah, like it's it's a big federal case. The U.S. government seized uh, whatever one point six one point seven because of that. Okay. And at the time, I owed Bob one point one, and he started running around like, "Oh, maybe I wasn't placing the best, maybe whatever." I was like, "You know, he he knows all of that stuff." Oh, so he's false. he's trying to not have any accountability and and say that no, no, he was just trying to cause me a bad spot. And then like at the same time, he was getting in this poker spot. You know, there's a guy who was playing heads up in Texas that he was getting in the spot, and I had been I had had pieces of that spot and stuff, and so it was like very convenient for him to cause me a bunch of problems. And then he'd just do that. And then we, we would like talk for a minute and he'd be like, oh, well, please can, you know, you should cover this. Can you cover it? That kind of stuff. And then the next day he would try to like cause me a legal problem. Right. I'm like, yo, like regardless if there's an argument that morally if probably if we arbitrated it, I don't think I would need to cover even half of that 350, what, right? Probably less. What but would be I had said, but I had said, sure, like I can. And then the next day he do shit like that, and I'm like, okay, like this isn't, that's just not how fucking life works, right? You want to say take the worst of it on the spot, and then go try to cause me a problem, like fuck off. Yeah, that, I guess that was my question. Like, what's his incentive to like cause you legal problems? You've met Bob. Sometimes he likes to be an asshole, right? He the other day on the phone, he, uh, you know, he called me. We yelled at each other for 40 minutes. Like, I'm I'm definitely less grumpy with him than Peter, you know. And Bob and I would never like. I mean, we were like friendly he would fucking he, he had said he want he, the other thing is he says like the the betting stuff you know he actually wanted to bet with me because he was like oh i don't trust the other two people i trust you more this kind of shit at least that's what he told me right and then now he's like oh no of course that's not true but i'm like all right like remember what you said dude um but uh he, he sometimes likes to cause people shit right and so when i when we were talking the other day he's like he said he's like uh uh He's like, yeah, I was definitely a bit scummy to you, but I felt like I had to do that to get paid, right? And I'm like, yo, but like, you misremember the details, right? And he's like, and I was like, when was I ever weird to you? He's like, well, there were stories of you being weird to other people, which I'm guessing he means the Jungle Man thing, I don't know. But I'm like, that's not, you know, I never caused him a problem. I gave him the money that he was owed. Like, I, I didn't try to, you know, I had to pay, uh, I think it was 12 and a half percent or whatever my money seized i never tried to say you should have pay a piece of this or whatever right like i didn't try to do the nitty type accounting shit and then he would yeah no like sometimes bob likes to, to pressure I have fast. Questions, but I have my please style. go ahead sorry well, Nick. go ahead now. We, uh, no no you ask ask well i was going to ask and i'll keep it short so it's not a nick rant <laughs> well, why was the uh, why was the money seized? Like, why did how, what happened in that deal that it got exposed? That they would go into your account and take it. Um, I'm well, not so, understanding so what happened. Basically, most people that had money seized just like signed a deal, admitted wrongdoing, and I really didn't want to do that. And so the, the you know, Bob could have had an argument that 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 wasn't fair by him, right? That but like, what was the charge though? What was it that they figured out? No, I never out? had a charge. They just seized money yeah, because I, I mean, had wires what, in. What was I the premise? 
I had wires in from something that was charged, right? And the premise was that money was illegal gambling money. Got it. I never wanted to... to I got to, it. Well, I just want to finish. I never wanted to give in on that because I felt like it was a very bad spot to give in. Right, Got and it. maybe, you know, Bob could have argued that maybe that was a little unfair by him. I, I had always, like, said, we can talk that through, right? In other words, if he's, that was part of why I'm pretty sure I gave him some of the 1.1 even before I got this, whatever it was, 1.6 back or something, right? But I don't exactly remember all those times. Um, but, you know, that's why I was saying, like, look, we can chat about this if you want. But then there were times we'd chat, and he would just fucking cause me a problem the next day. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to do that around, like, a legal spot where the feds are spazzing on everyone, <laughs> you know, like... And so I, I ended up actually only getting that money back somewhere in, in like the middle or toward the end of Paul's case. And I remember, I remember saying to my lawyer that like, uh, you know, they had offered, I think it was 12 and a half percent or seven and a half percent or something like that. And like no admission of any wrongdoing, whatever. Cause it was like, if you're going before judge, I was never like, I had, there was no, no real reason for them to take this money. Right. So, and, uh, so, so they offered that, and I was like, fuck no, I don't want to give in, I don't want to whatever. And the lawyer's like, yo, Tom, you're in the middle of Paul's case also. You have this other one, sign the fucking paperwork. And I was like, okay, fine, <laughs> and did it. So but, after you know, because, the dust... Because personally, I didn't want to give up a penny, right? If, if I gave up zero, I could tell you every single detail about that case right now. And like the fact is, I did let them take seven and a half or 12 and a half or whatever it was, so, so I can't, you know... Uh, I basically, I didn't want to give it on the spot. Does that make sense? You know. Yeah, it makes sense. So basically, it, what happened was whatever those people were that were involved with the transaction, your money got frozen. After the dust cleared, you got your money back because you didn't have wrongdoing, and then they just tried to out negotiate you. Wait, the chart. You, you did end up signing, though. That's what I'm. Yeah, you signed, right? No, yeah, I and signed, you got I you got your money back. I, minus whatever it was, seven and a half, twelve and a half. It was either exactly. seven and a half. They or negotiated and a half. it, right? That's what I meant. The feds. Yeah. 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 So, so let me ask you this question when you got, the, and because, uh, because I wasn't there and I, maybe I missed it. So apologies. But, um, when you got your money back, was that money still old to Bob now that you got it back? I, I don't know how much, you know, I think I'm not sure exactly. I think the figure was like a mil 1.1 when that was frozen. I don't know how much of it I gave him by the time I got it back, but after I got it back, yeah, but you gave him he, some. He got the balance. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much I gave him of that. It might have been none. It might have been a few hundred. I don't know exactly. Like, I think that story that he says of the Aria thing, I think that was before I got money back, right? I think there was like one or two times like that. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Like, and he was like mistelling those stories, but whatever, fine. What story at the um, Aria, Tom? Because we only have his tweets about you owing him three, uh, 350K. No, he said it, he said it on... Uh, on like hustler i think and so it was like something happened where i had like 200 something k in chips and i think i was losing around then right and so i was a buddy of mine was giving me a, a poker deal because it was we were playing giant fucking open face right and i think i was like losing a few mil straight um and there was some 200 something k I think he said it was 248. I have no, probably he's right, whatever. Um, that, uh, however it happened, was sitting there was my chips, but like the million or something was put on my account, that wasn't. It was something like that. Or maybe someone paid me the money back or something like that. And my recollection was the floor lady called me and said something like there's some bob here saying he can just take the chips for you something like that is that okay right and then bob you know bob what he tried to say publicly it was like he already took the chips he already whatever like you know i was like a little annoyed but i buy it but i was like fine whatever i think it might have been even someone paying me back it or something where i was like okay whatever you know that's like it, it wasn't the easiest spot for me because i think it was technically a piece of other people's money but it was just like okay fine whatever and i like sent the texture to like I hope this is fine. Oh, the money he took off your stack, part of that was other people's money. Yeah, it was, I was saying. playing giant, giant open yeah. face, so I only had some piece, right? But it wasn't like he took it off my stack. I don't remember exact details. I want to say it was like someone paying me a number or something like that where I was like, whatever, you know? And then, like, he says he had to go collect, like, there were spots that uh, it wasn't the easiest for me to get money that I was very happy for people to give that to Bob, right? So it's like he... I, 
you know, of the fucking eight facts or whatever that he lied about, does he really believe one or two or three of them? Maybe. I don't know. But like, you know, it's it's eight. Right? It's not it's not like one or two. It's like a bunch did of you shit guys that was speak at the, Did you guys speak at the million dollar game and did he ask you for any money or did you offer any after you had uh, you had some good days? No, so we talked around then, and then right towards the end of the game was when Doug said, apparently Bob had had him do a bunch of videos or something, and Doug had done them because of Bob, right? And then I had said to Bob, I was like, yeah, chap, like, do, do you not really that kind of shit's fucked up? Like, you're asking me to guarantee. Jeez, I think I got to change location. They're doing some, like, construction. Like, he's asking me to, ah, it's going to cut out. So let me, let me wait till, one second, let me wait till I... So my point to Bob was like, you know, doing that kind of shit when me and him had a figure and money was in the bank and whatever, like, is really douchebaggy and not cool, in my opinion. But like, he has his excuses or whatever, right? Doing it and then saying, hey, can you please cover this spot that like, it's arguable at best I cover? Like, fuck off. You know, like, that's just not appropriate. Right? And so it's way different if he's then like saying sorry and actually being sorry but he would like say sorry and then the next day or fucking a few days later do some spazzy shit right and i'm like that's not did you, did you guys have a side talk at the million dollar game or was there any talk about that money even though i know there was two different sides of it we talked right around that i don't know if it was at the game or if we had a call after or something i don't remember exactly but but basically but he felt by his tweet that he you should have paid him something is that's what he's implying yes from his tweet i'm just interpreting from his tweet. tweet but that's not you know I'm not saying it's true i'm that, just saying but, that's but the my problem with bob was always we would talk and then he would do something different say something different public try to cause me a problem right. now the 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 sports shit like the reason my money was held that was over 10 years ago right so that whatever statute of limitation shit i wouldn't have uh, it actually might have been up by then i'm not sure i thought it was 2013 but maybe it was 2012 um but I wasn't that comfortable to go talk about, like, I wouldn't have done this kind of interview before. So I always was like, what the fuck? Like, you can't, you can't try to cause me a problem here and then ask me to, yeah. to cover a spot that I arguably should maybe cover a little of or whatever, like, almost for sure not all. Like, it, it just fucked up. You know what I mean? It, 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 and, and what I had always said to him was I was like, look, I don't mind covering it, but, like, don't give me shit, right? And then he would go give me shit. And I'd be like, dude, like, this isn't reasonable and then he would like be like say sorry or be sorry or whatever and then go give me shit again and it's like yeah well i don't know if you're gonna i don't want you to get mad at me when i ask this but shouldn't the balance be still due even if a person's acting like a dick in no matter how the motions are i mean it's still a marker right between me and him sure between yeah. me covering something yeah. else fuck yeah. off no no oh, between you and him no between you and him that's he already he already got that balance like fucking five years ago ten years okay. ago whatever got you it. know eight years ago so like right between me and him sure but but then he's being an asshole right but fine that's still yeah. that's exactly what happened right okay. but yeah. the other the other part like fuck off why why would i cover something that like arguably morally maybe i should a little to someone being a fucking scumbag to me saying here's why i'm being a scumbag to you i don't know if he's he i think he used the word scumbag but whatever he whatever he, and he you're had his referencing justification. The sports betting right what do you mean no like you, why should you cover the sports betting right why should I cover it? But I was not involved in that deal, right? Why should right. I cover someone else's exactly. deal? I you're had a the, piece of you're that. You're the I, middleman in that deal, is what you're saying? No, no, I'm not the middleman. It was some. It was it was another guy I had a piece of. They were betting. That guy had plenty of money to pay him. I wouldn't have wanted to be in the middle of it. That guy got wrapped up in a legal issue. Bob didn't get paid. Bob said, "Can you pay it?" I'm like, "Okay, fine." Bob then tries to call me shit, calls me a scumbag, force me to pay it. Like, that's a little different. I, I'm just. Uh, I guess like. Did Bob misunderstand who was handling the sports no. betting? No, no, so no, no. The big, bets, the big bets were all through me. Come on, Bob's a fucking weird guy sometimes. He's, he's intentionally trying to, to misconstrue the spot. Intentional. Like, it's not. That's why, that's why I got pissed off, right? That's why Is he I wrote, doing that because he wants to be paid more money or just because you say no, he just No, I don't think so. It. Bob has a, he has a bunch of money now and shit, right? He killed it in crypto so and shit. So he's just doing it to, to just... To he, sometimes problems. he likes to cause shit, right? I think earlier he was doing it and he didn't kind of mind that it probably helped him get in the, the one poker spot he's in now. Right? I think sometimes he just doesn't mind being an asshole. And that's why I said the thing I did. I wasn't actually trying to cause him a problem, right? Like, then I would have done it different. But I was just like, dude, like, fuck off, right? Like, deal, deal reasonably. Yeah. 
Tom, do you think like probably because you're going 100 miles with your hair on fire, you're doing a lot of things, you're very, you know, active, playing cards, doing things. And a lot of times today you had mentioned that, you know, I, you know, I, I don't remember or this or that. Do you think a lack of accounting or maybe organization has caused some of the problems because it's a lot of he said, she said stuff, right? No, like, do you think? No, no, I think that's that's something someone like an Ike could say. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. But but those kind of people will present it reasonably. And I'm usually very open to like, to, oh, okay. Oh, you thought I had, it. okay, fine. Whatever. Right. Like, no, I'm, I mean, accounting and memory on your side. I understand. I'm saying between me and Ike, sure. You could argue that or something like that. Right. But okay. like most of those are people being reasonable. I do not think that's, that's the story that Peter or Bob are trying to weave. I think that's fucking detached from reality. Like, okay. I think they have their own angles, right. Bob's, Bob's, I don't, like we called and yelled at each other for like 40 minutes right and then, then, then he takes he's actually funny sometimes right then he takes me on a helicopter hope i don't die it would be brutal if that was the last combo i had or something like that and i was like good buddy but but i i you know I, bob I, I i don't fucking know i don't know how to understand it peter i think i have a decent understanding of what's going on bob i think sometimes likes to cause me shit Right. And like, I think sometimes he gets upside for it, sometimes whatever. I think sometimes he doesn't mind stirring shit for people. And that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to cause him a little shit because, like, this is it, it's if he had fucking tweeted most of that story and I felt like two or three of the facts were a little bit off, I probably would have just texted him, like, what the fuck, buddy. Right. Mm -hmm. But when I felt like it was, I, don't, I say eight, maybe it was seven, maybe it was nine, I forget. I, I remember I went through and like checked. But when I felt like it was that many, I was just like, fuck off. Like, this isn't, you know, this isn't appropriate. <laughs> like, it's not, it's not like one or two missing details or slightly misconstrued things. It's like fucking, yeah. Yeah. I guess I'm still kind of uh, not understanding fully about this money he took off your stack. Like, do you, what was that for? And do you know how much? Well, so, so. I think he said 248 a few days ago when we called. I don't remember how much. I don't, whatever. But so before I got that money back from my bank, we did have a figure I owed him. Right. Okay. So say it was 1.1 or something like that. This was like for that, I think. I'm, I'm not certain the timing, but this was, I think, for that. Well, that goes back to my point. And, and again, I am just asking. I am not trying to press you. I'm, it goes back to my point. Like, that's a lot of money, and there's a lot of different um, deals. I'm saying the lack of knowing where that is from may cause you. No, there's a reason I don't know where it's from. Bob and I's numbers are settled, right? The only thing there's any potential up in the air, anything is someone else's money. I guarantee you. like, so and that's part of why I was so pissed end, off. But the sports betting that I, Bob, no, I'm saying did, Bob and I, I Bob and I are yeah. fully yeah. settled. No, I Every yeah. last penny we had is fully settled. So okay. If you asked me this before, yeah, I might have, I probably had accounting just, for that kind of shit. It's just that you guys have a difference of who is accountable for that sports betting that he thinks was actually not. That, this, that, that I had nothing to do with. It was a, another yeah, person, I guarantee. He thinks that there may have not been betting, right? That's what he's alluding no, no, to. No, that no, no, may, no, 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 that, that's been completely, no. That's completely, no, no, no. This was an account he controlled that he clicked. No, no, no. Okay. He's, he's, he's misconstruing facts. He's trying to say that from a phone account I had. That was why my money was held, which was him and one other group. Well, why right? would he want and he money knows from you if you already paid him everything you owed? Why, why is he trying to get the money back from the, from the feds or from that other half? Why, why do you owe it? Wait, what do you mean? Well, that's, am I, no, he's, no, he, like, Bob is just basically wanting, he's wanting what I read on Twitter, Bob doesn't think that the, the sports betting was done, the, he that they knows ripped that's him off. Full of shit. He, that he no, doesn't know the, if the betting they, was actually no, done. Like, so someone's other trying to just make lies. He thinks put no, it no, in that no. he was putting no, money hey, on bets, but they just pocketed the money. Hey, I don't want to deal with this. Like, I'm going to leave if you don't let me explain. He he knows that that's not true, right? He wanted to call in himself and pretend to be me because he was doing that for other people that he was betting into the same guy. And I didn't feel okay with that morally. So I was like, no, I'm going to call. If you happen to be there and want to hear or whatever, fine, you can. But I'm not letting you call in and pretend to be me. Right? Bob's good at like imitating people's voices. And then he was wow. saying, you know, he, he wanted to call in and this kind of shit. And, but he knew like the guy would move. He, he, he had two other people or three other people betting into the same guy. He, the guy's lines would move right away. Like he, it, it's, 
he's just flat out lying when he says I might not have been placing the bets. Like there's, he's just flat out lying. There's no fucking chance. Plus I never did that once, right? He would try to say that shit before because technically if I did that, that would be me booking. So it was him trying to cause me a legal problem. Yeah, that's why. That's what you understand what I'm that. saying. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah, that's he was why he always tweeted trying that. to that's say why this have. kind of shit. There's yeah. me and him. The the phone account betting. He's gotten every penny, and he got that right around when I got my money back from the bank. I'm not exactly sure the 248. I would guess that was part of, you know, like I said, I think it was say 1.1 or something before I got my money back from the bank, right? I would guess that was part of that. I don't know our exact figures because at the point we had zero figure, I was like, I never want to fucking deal with you again. Have a nice life. Right. Like if you want to bring up this 350 that there's some argument, maybe I should have some part of or something like that. Fine. We can talk if we talk reasonably. If you try to say, fuck you, you must. Then like, no, I don't care if I should owe some or not. Fuck you. Like, like, you know, and basically my point was it's not like he tried to cause me a little bit of a problem. Right. He fucking got in this one poker spot. He's made tens of millions of dollars, if not more, that probably cost me a few million, me losing, I'm being in there or whatever. And, uh, uh, and he kept trying to squeeze a legal thing, right? So it's like you can't you can't be doing that at those kind of stakes and then be like, oh, buddy, let me penny pinch this one three fifty. Maybe you should still cover. Or one time you said you would. I'm like, if I said I did, it's before you were a fucking huge scumbag about it, right? And even when we talked the other day, I was like, listen, if, it's way different if you go and be like, okay, sorry, you know, when he says on the phone to me, like, yeah, I was a scumbag to you. Here's all the reasons, right? I'm like, if, if you want to go and be like, okay, you weren't fair by me then we can talk, right? I'm not going to trust it when you say it once because then two days later you're like, oh, well, I was lying. Obviously, I'm just saying that because I need to make up a bunch of stories to get paid or whatever. It's like he actually, just spinning some he bullshit. He actually said he spun it so he could get paid that it wasn't true and he just spun it? He he says this kind of shit all the time, to me, right? He's like, oh, well, this okay. is why I did this, this is why I did that. And it's like, right. so so I'm just like, okay, you're not being reasonable. Like, why right. am so I going to be overly reasonable and guarantee 350 yeah. in a spot like that's that's not realistic so he had, he admitted to you that sometimes he does that as leverage to get paid i i don't know the word he used i don't fucking remember we were like okay. yelling at each other for 40 minutes or whatever right. but but i'm happy he made it on a chopper but i think he said that's why i was an asshole to you or scumbag to you or something like that yeah Got it. but okay. it was because because i was explaining i wasn't actually trying like i really don't like some of the shit he did of trying to insinuate i was taking bad stuff like that he knew i never wanted to do any of that Mm-hmm. I did a super baby taste of that to him, right? And I didn't actually, you know, I could have done it way meaner. I didn't actually try to do it in a way that caused him a problem. And then, you know, like, it was just like, dude, like, fucking wake up. Like, you're not, this is not reasonable, right? Like. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything else on, on that on, subject? Not on Bob. Okay. Um, do you want to say Do you anything have anything else? else in general? Well. I do, yeah. Yeah. What do you got? Uh, so do you still owe jungle man money from your heads up? Like I said, we, I'd rather talk just with jungle, okay. but with I, jungle, I gave okay. him 1.4 out of 1.5, uh, I, my last pretty question. amicable, yeah. you know, okay. I, I, I would rather talk with him that way. Cause we may not see every last detail eye to eye. And I think he's pretty, especially lately. I think we both think each other's trying to be pretty reasonable. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, I don't want to. Right. If I if I if I want to say a take that I happen to think I want him to be able to be able to say, I think you're an idiot, you know, because because I feel like we have a pretty well intentioned. There, there's some stuff. There's a spot or two. He could have made me look bad. That's not public. There's a spot or two. I could have made him yeah. look bad. That's not public. And you're we on like, a good track with have him. More details. And you're on a good track yeah, with both, him and you prefer to stay that way. I'm saying we both have more details and we we yeah. we. I feel like we would generally talk through what was fair. We wouldn't always get it perfect. Whatever. Sometimes yeah. you say my bad. But like, so. But the one one four, I think he's he might say it's one three five or something. But yeah, like whatever. He's he's gotten ninety percent of the the one five at minimum. Okay. Last question I have, if you want to answer, you can. If you don't, it's cool. Is and I think some people have asked this question. Do you like owe many people money? And if you do, how much? And if you don't want to talk about it because it's private, that's okay too. But I know the community squawks about it, so it would be a good time for you to to answer it if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, I think that's similar to the jungle thing. Like, there's some figures that I feel people owe me that I generally am not going to try to make stuff public. Um, There's definitely some random deals I didn't deal with perfect by people that I'm happy to talk to them about. You know, um, I generally don't try to make shit like that public without a reason kind of thing. So Totally. Okay. Well, uh, I... 
I have questions. Yeah, go. Not just about go that, on. if we're moving on. Yeah, please, let's move on. Yeah, to so I want to talk about ACR. Okay. Okay, so you're you're their new pro. pro. I'm assuming you're not a stormer, right? You're their new pro. <laughs> <laughs> so how did that happen? Who contacted who? Give us the details. Yeah, so I still, I'm still sponsored by like Wii Poker also. Um, so I think it's kind of the first time that someone in poker has like two different big poker deals. Right. Um, is we poker and, a subsidiary of, uh, WPT? I couldn't hear you. We cut out for a second. I was uh, anyway, it, Veronica. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Well, fuck. I don't know. Anyway, Veronica. Um, fuck. I don't think he wants to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. I, I got it. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Go. Anyway. Um, so, so I met Phil. He was, we just did an interview. I don't think they put it out yet, but, uh, I met Phil at one of the Tritons. It was like he was leaving or something. We like took a picture. Phil Nagy, I mean. And uh, then I think it was the next one. We like had a few beers and, and talked. And you know, I I, uh, I know most of the principal people in poker, right? At at the sites, at other areas. Um, and to me it's pretty important like who means well i think if uh you know there's a lot of stuff in poker that i wish was a little different and if the organizations aren't taking the right steps you know things things can move different right and what, like what things what nick, things nick i would hope that you saw this right when you guys had scandals and stuff i tried to tried to help right and i definitely didn't always think nick did everything perfect but i felt like he meant well right i felt like ryan meant well and to me that was a big you don't always need to see everything eye to eye if people mean pretty well, right? right? And a lot of times, especially in the poker world, people can get clicks, people can get, uh, you know, upside for trying to cast shit, right? Maybe it helps their sponsorship deal, maybe it makes them their site happy, this kind of stuff. Um, I happen to think with a bunch of the new tech live, that's slowly starting to come to a head. You know, it's like more of an issue than it had been in the past. And online even more so right I, I don't think that real-time assistance stuff is as serious as polluting which isn't as serious as super using or knowing the card to come but any of those things are serious and real-time assist stuff is so prevalent right now that it, like if we don't want poker to go the way of chess you you know even me right i told i gave ideas on how people could have made it harder for bots to a lot of like the principal people in the industry years ago and even me i'm like in a lot of the world like one of the most known or most known poker player for like some of asia in the west definitely was still one of the most like people wouldn't listen to me on it right it's just like people want to just keep making the revenue they don't really care if the games get a little less good and you know i i, I think it's important to have people uh you know influencing or running the biggest organizations that that care about that stuff at least a bit right um and i think phil does a lot and so you know, it took a while, but that's how it ended up with, with me joining ACR. So you're kind of an advisor also? It, like, what, that's kind of what I'm hearing is you guys had a talk and you're, you well, no, know I mean, it, that there was a bot problem. You know about everything that's No, been. I actually didn't know the bot stuff much before. I don't play like the smaller stake stuff. I'm saying, you know, I think a lot of the organizations in poker, when there's issues, try to sweep them under the rug, right? Um, and you don't think he is when when hustler had an issue i don't think nick and ryan tried to do that they tried to face it right they could have right. cut the tapes they could have done whatever right you and i actually talked about that right around it veronica that i was like right. that's that's very strong that they didn't do that they didn't cut the tapes they didn't that would have been the first reaction of many companies in poker cut the tapes don't face it right? right and you know i think anyone wanting to to uh play poker at, especially at any decent stakes and assume it's a hundred point zero 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 percent safe like the piece of the piece of the the information on the back of two pieces of plastic is worth sometimes six figures or more or whatever you're not going to get to a hundred point zero zero percent security right what i want is something where it's close enough that you don't need to worry about it and that you know that if some shit ever happens people try to deal with it not sweep it under the rug um and i think that was you know i got a bunch of respect for for nick and ryan around that um I have respect for Phil for the way he's dealt with that kind of stuff. And I think, you know, if you were sitting, if we were sitting here eight years ago, 10 years ago, maybe that wasn't going to be as important for, for the next few years. Right. For now, I think it's, 
I see it that this stuff's coming to a head a bunch of different ways, right? There's a bunch of shenanigans in Asia. There's a bunch of stuff online. There's like, this stuff's coming to a head. Um, and I'm saying even me as an example, I wasn't able to influence that much, right? I told a bunch of the operators things they should have been doing in their games years ago. And like, it was just in one ear or out the other when I'm saying it, when they want me to fucking work with them, be sponsored by them, that kind of shit, right? Like, you know, so. Yeah, so I'm just going to ask you a question and um, it's, I think people would want to know, your, so did you join ACR because it was a good financial deal for you or or is it because you think that you could potentially help get ACR into a better place? No, I think I could have gotten more money from other sites. Like, I think that's pretty clear. I, I trust Phil more than I trust most other people in in the industry. Yeah. And so, I actually don't think, I think like one of the, I think their PR is terrible. So a lot of people actually don't trust them that much. I think that's partly because they face a bunch of stuff. Right. And that's, you know, people give Nick shit because sometimes he says something out in public or whatever. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. you know, but, but I, I would rather that than the type of people that are like, Oh, we must, I think it's important that people try to uh, not do what looks right or looks like it has integrity but try to actually do what is right right, right. and so i try to gravitate to those kind of people and like even if nick does a speech or two and pisses me off or even if Nagy's pr is terrible i think they both mean very well and i can't say that for a lot of the poker world so can you give us a bit of detail uh to that conversation that you had with Nagy with you know like the improvements you're looking for him to make I mean, I think that, you know, I went to Costa Rica a few times, like they're, uh, it's just a very open, you could talk to people there, you can, it, they, they openly talk about security stuff, like it's, it's a very different situation to, to most of the poker companies. Um, I, I, like, I like the way they look at that stuff. Does that make sense? Am I, yeah, was no, that a yeah, good enough no, answer? I'm just wondering if Nick has another question because sometimes he, uh, I yeah, tend I, I to. Think, well, so I think for me, I, I don't trust that a lot of, I, I don't want to like start naming names or whatever, but I don't trust that a lot of people care to, to address dirt or air, air out dirt that happens, right? And I think I do trust that with ACR, right? So that to me, that's one of the main reasons I joined them. It's also partly liking Phil. I don't have anything. You don't have anything. Not on that <laughs> subject. First time ever. Well, see, the thing is, it, it, I mean, I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, I, I think it was less of a speech and more of a me trying to gather everything in one kind of layman terms for the viewers because, respectfully, you're very confusing, but it's probably no, I could very tell. bright. Yeah. I could tell. So, yeah, well, so, and I think especially so I didn't when mean I get to emotional. I didn't mean to upset you. No, no, you're fine, man. You're fine. I'm just giving you shit. I'm sorry. I think no, especially I when I get I, emotional. I didn't take it that Tom was upset. I took that he okay, was cool. kind of like poking you a little Fair bit. Fair enough. Poke yeah. all your way. No, I, I also, poking. I was like 0% upset with you. I'm upset by the situation. Yeah, right? yeah. So if it seemed like I, I was I upset it. with you, my bad. But no, And then no, I think when I'm upset by a situation, I probably talk extra confusing or We're whatever. square. You know what I mean? Like, no problem. Yeah, no, I get right. it. I get it. It's a tough, it's a tough thing. You know, one of the questions I was going to ask you is how how hard is it on you when you're getting attacked like this? If, if you feel you're being un attacked unfairly and not having like, even till now a voice, like how, how tilted do you get? Um, like, have you been in the last week? Well, so I think that was my point that like stuff with jungle in the past, whatever, like we didn't, it's not like I, you know, we had no dealings. We weren't really friends. Before, we didn't even really know each other before any of the challenge stuff. Right. That was like, yeah. I gave in to full tilt on it. Like it is what it is. Like, it's not like he owed me something right like bob and i we were like a bit friendly we weren't super close or anything um i, I definitely think he's misconstruing a lot of facts like you know he, he wanted me to be, because he trusted me more in those spots and then he's later saying oh he thought maybe i wasn't even putting in the best like he was fucking saying he wanted me to back because he didn't trust the other people putting in the best and shit like that um uh but but even that doesn't stink. you know the peter one stinks like we it just stinks. And I think that's part of why it like, if, if I could press a, a button and go back a year, 
and have this not come out, but I didn't know, I, I wouldn't do it. Like, as annoying as it's been, it's like, all right, at least I saw his true colors, you know? So it stings and because think, you were friends for over a decade is what you're saying, and you helped him out and... Yeah, I mean, if I, if I could go back and just not have him have the future deal and know that I was right, sure, right. I would do that, right? Like, at the point he was seeing whatever cash out, I'd just been like, okay, trust me, your read's right. Like, sure, I would do that, obviously, right? But But if I could just say no deal but not trust my read was right or whatever like i would rather have the current situation because at least now i know like his true colors you know tom would but you I, ever... I had his back a lot of fucking times <clears throat> tom would you ever have interest in coming on a show like this and talking with bob or talking with peter directly so there can be just like, fuck one no one. with peter with bob maybe but okay. fuck no with peter because i don't want to give him any like i think that was part of his angle Right. I would do it with jungle in two seconds. No problem. Okay. Okay. Right. With Bob, like, you know, uh, yeah, I'm potentially down, but like, I also would probably want to chat to him first and be like, if I get mad enough, I might say ABC things, you know, cause like I was trying to not actually cause him a real problem. I left out most like key details around stuff. And I, I think in the past, a lot of times he would try to cause me one and it was a spot I couldn't hit back that well, right? Because like that yeah. one case, I was in a bit of a sensitive spot and like that stuff done is done now. So, you know, like the 10 years window on most of that shit's done, so. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, ever, it, if, if you guys ever have a desire to do that, you and Jungle or you and Bob, you're welcome to do that. If not, Yeah, with okay. Jungle, I'd do that wherever. I mean, that's that's fine, right? And I think that's like, yeah. Yeah, I think but, that'd be good. It'd be good to have you both go back and, and figure it out like publicly and then come to a conclusion. Then I think it just goes to bed from there. I think that would, be well, we good. actually said that over coffee today. Like maybe we do something like that, but yeah. it's whatever it's, I don't, you know, we'll see who knows whatever. Yeah. Is it, it, does it bother you the most that this is all, this is happening on Twitter? Like that. It's not that they didn't no, just the like intention. contact you directly. No, no, no. It's the intention that bothers me the most. And it's the intention by Peter. That's what I'm saying. Cause like, by jungle if he felt a little wrong so he was a little bit dicks me a few times whatever we didn't really know each other like it's fine right like it's it's uh, you know what i mean it's it's the bob thing it's a bit worse he's definitely a bunch of low blows like whatever the peter one it's just like fuck it like i mean the, 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 there's just no excuse and and then when i'm saying like fucking ask ike what he thinks or like have a bunch of our closest people arbitrate this kind of shit he's like no we can have twitter do it and he know that and he fucking knows I don't have my Twitter when he does it too. It's just like, yeah, it's yeah. come back to it. Okay, dope. What about Yo. you guys? Let's chat about something else for two minutes, okay. and then no, and we can go. This. But but let's, let's chat, chat about, about this. Some how, for two how, minutes. how how important was it to you, or was it cool for you to win the biggest pot ever on televised? <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. Um, actually, I was I was gonna do a video with Wesley on it. <laughs> There's the call. Hey, call. Call. Tom Dwan has just won the biggest pot in the history of televised poker. $3.1 million. Yes. Make sure it's um, cold. Tell him cold. Tell him yes, cold, cold, please. Cold. <laughs> you know, Tom, I have to tell you something kind of funny about your biggest hand, uh, your Go biggest on. win. He's focused on is the he, is he focused I'm on listening. The no, I'm not. He's got to get no, the No, no, I'm, no. I'm, I, I used to play eight tables. Oh, my guys. I can do two <laughs> things at once. So, <laughs> yeah, you can Tom, handle it. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people stopped me at the World Series of Poker. Not about anything except for the million dollar cash game. They'd be like, million dollar cash game. Tom Dwan. Great interview. And like so many people stopped me about that interview because, I mean, the hand was just amazing. Like, Legendary. yeah. So... How I do don't think feel? it was just that too, because if you remember when you were interviewing me, there was like at least once or twice where, you know, you're like, ah, I'm not asking them that. Like I heard you say it over the mic, right? Like, or it was either right before or right after. I think you and I have a pretty good banter, right? At yeah. that time, I don't know. I think that might've been the first time we met, but we had talked around the hustler stuff yeah, and oh, all. Yeah. And, you know, at least now I feel like we're a bit friends, right? And I think right. it's when you have a, decent chat like i didn't feel like you were trying to push to get every drop you could out of the interview you were like this was cool let's have a cool chat right yeah, like it was a lot of fun and so then i i felt more comfortable kind of thing um right. 
And I think that's a lot of times what people actually want to know is uh, what what I was thinking, how much Doug looking at Wesley's hand informed stuff, you know, this kind of stuff, right? Um, you know, and sometimes it's not necessarily like the most plus EV to give that stuff out, but then it also, like a hand like that, it's like, all right, well, why not talk about it? It was so like clear and obvious or whatever, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I actually, if we had had that interview like the next day, I probably would have done more. I didn't want Wesley to like, go crazy on duck so i i uh that was part of why i didn't you know so I'm i didn't it had a, say every detail him seeing the cards had obviously if he didn't see the card i probably wouldn't even four bet wesley i would have four bet anyone else at the table but probably not wesley because i wesley was popping off in group chats and uh you know because people were calling him tight and so i i really felt like he was likely to go for it that day because we're in like a few crypto group chats right and so I really felt like he was likely to go for it. And then especially versus me. So I just really didn't want to, like, I might have four bet him with, you know, Jack hates suited or some shit, but I probably wouldn't have four bet Queens specifically versus him. I would have versus anyone else there. But yeah, obviously after it gave away quite a bit. And then, and then Wesley added to, right. It's not like it, Wesley then like acknowledged it and made me question that read or anything like that, you know? Uh, would you would you do anything different looking back at that game, all the games you played what in, the do you mean? in the million dollar cash game? Was there anything like any? I know you. I played won. one day and I won two mil. Like what? Uh, what's the problem? <laughs> this I, is I, why I people know. love the interviews. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, what do, you, what do you mean? I was pretty happy with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're good. Uh, what, do you think that they could do anything better to make the million dollar cash game better, or do anything different? Ask me that another time. I don't know. I mean, it was they did a good job last time. Um, I'm just, I'm just asking. I, I don't know. Ask, ask me at another time. I, yeah, I, whatever we can do. I'm too grumpy. It's like I'm not gonna give them a fair shake right now. I can't answer a question like that. Well, yeah, I'm this yeah. Grumpy. When you're in, when you're in a happy disposition, answers are lighter. Yeah, when you're yeah, in a yeah. bad one, they're darker. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's cool. Um, but yeah, it should be cool. I think. I think. Oh, I think I told you right. I was gonna wear. Uh, okay x shirt that yeah. day yeah so because i was at f1 monaco with my buddy who's their cmo and he had like convinced me to go i don't really like f1 and then it was it was really good you know they sponsored mclaren and they had this like the best view possible basically um and i don't really like f1 but it was, it was cool right and so i was like oh just get me a t-shirt and i'll i'll wear it and you know you thinking i was doing a small time, favor right? And I didn't get the T-shirt in time. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then my picture was all over a bunch of shit for it, <laughs> and I was giving hater shit. I was like, yeah. But... You good? Well, fucking, I'm, if I was any better, I would just explode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. I'm great, Tom. I, I do appreciate it. it. It's a tough time for you. Uh, I appreciate you talking about it with us. Um, we really did do the best we could to try to navigate through it fairly and uh knowing that it's a very tilting situation so really appreciate it yeah and i think just like one thing to wrap up i think it's fair to say i'm a bit friendly with both of you guys but yeah. you both had said to me beforehand like you're, you're basically going to put that to the side right you might have given me an extra moment on on uh you know trying to be understanding if i'm tilted or confusing or whatever but yeah you know um yeah, I don't mind doing some public stuff like this and, and having people ask stuff. And I, yeah. I, I'm appreciative that this was, you know, I did a quick poker news thing, but that this was the first one because it is it is tilting. So I'd rather initially tilt with some people I'm a little friendly with before I yeah, totally. do more, more, more of yeah, it's so. a tough. It's a tough spot. We, gotta, we do have to ask questions, you know, the, and they're not easy. And at the same time, got to give you the fair shake of knowing that it's a tough spot and you know and i think we did we all did collectively a good job so and no one wants to grill their friend because you know i do i i think highly of you and i like you and we became friends and it, i don't want to it's hard to it's very hard it's I hard mean, to grill your friend yeah i, I became close with tom uh, that I, you know cl cl close enough during jack four he was fair to me that he fucking dug so it wasn't like we were buddies and he just gave me a pass he dug he was fair to me and uh i consider him a friend so yeah it is it is tough you know yeah. But we appreciate you coming to us doing it because yeah, I know you could have gone you. anywhere. Thank you. Well, no, I mean, I appreciate that too. That I think there's other places if I tilted for a minute, might have given me shit about it and tried to force me to answer something. They're like, all right, take a breath. Now I'm going to ask you this thing. It's going to piss yeah. you off, you know? Yeah. <laughs>
totally. And that's that's like the right format to actually get to the truth, in my opinion. So, yeah, yeah, it was it was good. So, okay, if there's not anything else, I'll wrap it up, and maybe you and I do a little post game after Tom gets back to drinking more water. <laughs> I got a coffee too. <laughs> All right, good. All right, well, this is the Nick Fertucci Show, and for Veronica Brill and Tom Dwan, thanks again. We're going to keep it live for a little bit with just Veronica and I, and we're just going to chat about some stuff. And then uh, that's it. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. And for sure, hopefully, we see you at the Million Dollar Game. Uh, that would be awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty excited All about right. that, Tom. Yeah. Tom, peace. See you guys. Take it see easy, you. buddy. Thank you. Yeah, so I just want to have a little afterglow. What do you think? <clears throat> is this going to go on the podcast? I want to, yeah. And or we can do an afterglow, afterglow. An afterglow, afterglow. Yeah, let's well, let's do a little afterglow. Like, what's up? Just just <clears throat> some light afterglow, and then you and I will obviously chat. I mean, like we're we're both very transparent. I mean, I tweeted, you know, Team Tom. I'm friends with Tom. Tom and I, you know, Tom, Tom is Tom. If that if I can mm-hmm. explain it that way, like yeah. he has a way of speak. You have to kind of have patience w- and try to figure out what he means because he's all over the place. I know. Yeah, um, I've had a lot of conversations with him where I told you I've said, Tom, like, try to say it a different way. Like, I'm stumped. Like, in regular, just normal conversations. And uh, But that's okay. It's just different communication stuff. And what I was really trying to do, it, it, I really didn't think I was giving a speech, and who cares, but I, what I was really trying to do is it took me – it literally took me on the Peter thing about three quarters of the way through be- until I actually knew what the Dude, hell I was talking I, about. Me too. And I could and tell when I looked at you, you didn't know either because you didn't have anything trying. to say. I yeah. was trying. I know. I was starting. I was writing down notes. Yes. Who owes who right. what, how yeah. much. Mm-hmm. And then it just was the story went all over the place. Right. I didn't get a timeline from any of this. No, it was very tough. So what I was trying to do, which he called it, you know, thought it was a speech. And I get it because he's frustrated. What I was trying to do is I was trying to frame it. But in a simple, well, I'm just saying. I think you a, took it a little personal. I don't think he was. No, no, being I, look, rude no. We to don't you. have to discuss that. Yeah. I'm just discussing. I don't. I'm not personal at all. I feel great. I love Tom. At first, it caught me off guard because I just thought, no, what I'm trying to do is frame something that's very confusing, and that's it. I was just trying to frame it because, like, that was confusing at first. But I do now understand what the situation right. is, which I didn't until towards yeah, the so very end. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna record nick telling us everything in two minutes go <laughs> that's all we need a two minute summary of the situation you right? want me to do that now? no I'm, I'm being sarcastic oh, oh yeah i'm just saying that like we did get to the bottom yes. of his perspective the best we could the best we could yes of his perspective that's right well that's right. i'm sure bob and um and uh peter have a different side of uh, course. You know, they're welcome to come on our podcast and we'll sure. we'll let them respond if they want to. Yeah. Yeah. Um or they can respond on another podcast, yeah. whatever. But um I think we got Tom's perspective. So Yeah, uh, there you have it. It was it was one a long thing that's one. interesting is that, you know, I you you play on Hustler. Um I'm sure you've played the Friday game and stuff and you yes. can play it. But the world that Tom lives in is a very different place. Yeah. Dealing with like Harala Bob, I think is a is a billionaire, right? Like no dealing with is. the amount of money that they're all, you know, playing with and and making bets with yeah. and like staking and all this stuff. It's a world that a lot of us, a lot of people watching this podcast, almost everyone on this watching this podcast doesn't understand. Well, Val, that's why like we were trying to say it in a term. Like I was trying it with you saying it in a term where people watching could understand. Right. Because like, eventually I figured out, OK, there is two pieces. It's the it's the part where, you know, he has uh, he has payback. And that's and I do understand payback, right? In a in a whole staking type of thing. And then there's the part Mar- where it's makeup, yeah, it's makeup. makeup. And makeup. your makeup I should meant to say makeup. Your yeah. makeup should never, at least from my understanding, should never be a hundred percent because then the person that's staking you is take is not taking any risk and taking fifty percent of the profit. So that yeah. is weird. You're he was I think he was alluding to the the makeup amount being like less than fifty percent. Right. But it's weird to me uh, that Peter would publicly state that that uh he's owed money from tom when he owes tom the makeup well that's what i was trying to that's what we were i think what i'm just gonna say i i think it was us but what i was trying to get to and that's why i was like trying to make it so simple of math forget about what you were gonna do forget about how you were gonna forgive it forget about when you were cool let's just say there was no people involved and it's just math here's the makeup 
what's that percentage if it's going to be if it's not 100 what is it because you're right it's not always 100 and then what's the other side of it that that um that he owes and once you get those two numbers and then he there's an amount that and then he there's paid. other deals that yes. were going on that he had a percentage of but that right he, right he but didn't if, his friend he, thought he had 100 percent of yes and, but if you just take those numbers and you were to do the math simply who owes who and that's what I was trying to get at so it could get simplified. Not that it is that simple because then you have to go, you know, I got mad because he didn't send me the counting. And then when I paid the 30, you know, maybe it was like 32 or four, but I was so pissed I didn't even feel like looking at it anymore. Like, that's fine. Let's leave that out then. Let's just go off the 30. So, but what was happening is, and, you, and if it wasn't the case, tell me, this is not defensive. I want to know. What was happening is I felt... Like I actually explained what he said, and then he would say, "No, no, 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 no," and then he would say it again, and it's what I but said. Tom, I, I'm saying it was just different. Right. I I get it. I think from what I'm hearing, from my perspective, uh, uh, that Tom's brain doesn't work like that. That's right. Tom's brain so marries the money with the situation and the feelings and everything that's going on that's right you can't so separate him with him you can't it's not he's not working with a spreadsheet here he's a one note kind of guy everything's pa copy pasted in there all the numbers and mm -hmm. all the everything yeah, there's else a sticky going. note up here yeah, that's yeah, emotion yeah there's a sticky note over here you're a dick and there, it's all going at a million miles a minute that's right yeah, yeah. so and i just figured the people watching would be confused i mean I I was like, this is what I was thinking when I was listening. And I'm like, I'm if I ask a question, I'm going to come across as the lowest IQ human on this earth right now because mm -hmm. I can't follow this story. But, you know, I think it's just like a I think it's just the way Tom talks. When Tom and I have had conversations, we've had many. I have to often ask questions like, OK, Tom, you're referencing this. When did this happen? Yeah, you have to oh, you're talking about it happened before this other thing. And it, it's like his brain in his brain he already knows everything that's going on and he's just assuming you have all that same knowledge and so that's just well on the car ride here or the car ride to the casino i that's what i said to you i said it's crazy because i love tom i'm team tom as far as a friend and um not as far as the deals because i wasn't there and whatever they are they are but i had said you know i've had just conversations about him not jack or anything where i just after he's done, I just say, can you just try to say it a different way? Like I really literally it's let's put it this way. It is that because for you and I both to sit here and to really be digging deep into the fucking deep cortex of the, to really try to dig out the whatever. That's what it is. And I think and the I cortex. think, yeah, whatever is that, I don't know. Is it the front? No, so, I mean, I, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. Yeah, I don't know I'm where you're trying shit. to dig, though. I don't know. Whatever, whatever. But but I think that it's just to the point of and then I also think, like you said, you just said it. There's I say something into here and it goes into a filter and then it goes to yeah, how he's how he wired. And he's it. like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One, so. one thing that makes a successful communicator is being able to be that bridge between how like what the idea is that the person's trying to say are you okay you're looking at what the cat's doing i'm listening to you <laughs> but to trying to make sense of what the person's trying to say within the way they're saying it yeah yeah i think you did a good job nick i'm gonna I'm, here i'm not looking for a kudo i'm not i'll take i'll take it but i'm not looking for it all right i'm ready my i'm ready i'm ready to to get on my flight to go home Okay, well, this is the Nick Fertucci show. I am Nick Fertucci, and for Valerie Brill, envy out. <laughs>